Hi, I'm Candace Alder, and I work with FEMA. While FEMA is involved in emergency response, we will also work hard to prepare our nation's communities for natural disasters. As another hurricane season begins, it's a great time for people with disabilities to prepare so they're ready when a disaster happens. There are four steps you can take to be prepared for disasters. Stay informed, make a plan, build a kit, get involved. Stay informed. Know what types of disasters impact your area. Sign up for emergency alerts. Pay attention to emergency broadcasts. Know when and how to evacuate and where to go to shelter. It can save your life. Make a plan. Talk with your family or your roommates. Discuss with them how you'll evacuate or shelter in place. Decide how you'll communicate if disaster hits when you're not home. Build a kit. Think about more than just food, water, and clothing. People with disabilities should consider the items that they use on a daily basis, as well as life-sustaining items like medications or batteries or assistive devices. I am hard of hearing, and losing access to the services and devices that help me communicate can have devastating consequences during a disaster. My plan includes memorizing important phone numbers in the event that I'm separated from my electronic device. I also have a designated meeting space if I'm separated from my family and can't communicate with them. I exchange contact information with my neighbors who can assist me if needed. My personal kit also includes a portable cell phone charger and extra cords because my cell phone is my lifeline for communication. It also includes a notebook with pens just in case I'm separated from my cell phone and I need it for communication. And a battery operated lantern so that even if it's dark, I can communicate either through sign language or through lip reading. Get involved. Start preparing today. If you or someone you live with has a disability, visit ready.gov forward slash disability to learn more.